Okay, welcome to day three in the Irish Champion Hurdle is going to kick us off here at Leopardstown. It's a grade one over two miles, and we've got a pretty good looking field here. So, number one is seven furlongs for Derek Hinton, two is Rod Laver for Paul Rhodes, three, the mighty Stu Gray for Paul Rhodes, four, Hurricane Fly for John, five, Hip to Be Square Joshua, six, Deep Red Eyes for Moilet, Moilet, sorry, seven, Bold Ruler for Thunderspark, eight, Silver Strikes for Darren Thompson, nine, Soggy Bottom for David Robertson, ten, Orange Eyes for Moilet, Sir for the favourite, eleven, Game Set Match for Joshua, twelve, Jury Lane for Graham Clutterbuck, and thirteen is Alberino Central, also for Darren Thompson, so... Uh, top trainer's got a couple in here. Starter's got them away. And they should go round here like a bat out of hell. So it's going to wait for Marcel now to come into this first bend. It's Hurricane Fly and Mighty Stew Gray. Although Hurricane Fly is having a bit of a pull, nobody wants to take this on. It's actually quite a slow start here. It's not the usual pace that we were expecting. So it's going to be a bit of a tactical ride. But it's Mighty Stewart Gray against the fence that just leads from Hurricane Fly in second. Then we've got Soggy Bottom against the fence, but all the jockeys taking the pull here. Nobody wants to take this up. And it's Hurricane Fly that just noses as they go into this left hand turn. And then Mighty Stewart Gray as they go downhill. And it's Mighty Stewart Gray. And the pace hasn't really quickened yet. And already three, four furlongs as we approach the first of the four hurdles to negotiate. So it's Mighty Stew Gray, leads by a couple to Jury Lane. Well, Jury Lane now taking a pull, nothing wants to go and challenge Mighty Stew Gray here. They start going downhill here, and they get to the first hurdle, and everybody's over it. a couple of slower jumps. Mighty Stew Gray didn't get over it particularly well. And the pace is still not being pushed along a little bit now by Jury Lane. And the inside is Mighty Stew Gray. Then we've got Hip to be Square. Game set and match and so over strikes. And they're going to be followed through by Rod Laver. Deep red eyes as they go over the second. And we've got Bold Ruler. Alberino Central. Orange eyes. Soggy bottoms drop back towards the rear now. Along with Hurricane Fly. So it's Mighty Stew Gray that leads. We're going to approach it just over a mile left to travel now. Plenty of this is on the flat. So it's Mighty Stew Gray. Leads by about four from Rod Labour in second. They take the third. They're only going to have one more flight to negotiate and under a mile to travel. And it's still Mighty Stew Gray. Pace has got a little bit better now. But Mighty Stew Gray leads by three still from Rod Labour, Jury Lane, Deep Red Eyes. Zova strikes and game set match. Don't want to really challenge us yet. So as we hit the six and a half furlongs, it's mighty Stu Gray still. But in a couple of lengths now as Jury Lane starts to challenge a little bit on the outside his game set match against the fences Rod Laver. Running on well is Deep Red Eyes at this stage. Here comes Hurricane Fly again from last, moving up now into second. So five furlongs out. Mighty Stu Gay, Jury Lane. They hit the top bend, the home bend. It's Mighty Stu Gay, Jury Lane. Deep Red Eyes moves into position. It's fairly tactical, this. Anything could still win from here. Mighty Stu Gray starts to press for home. May well have gone a little bit too early. We've only got four furlongs left to travel. And it's Mighty Stu Gray. Leads by about five, starting to pull away now. The one against the fence, Jury Lane doing well. Hip to be square out wide, starts to make a move. The other one is... Sorry, is, is Jury Lane making the move? The other one is Hip to be square. So it's Mighty Stew Gray. Leads by just a couple of lengths now. From Hip to be square, starting to make the challenge to Jury Lane. It's two furlongs let out now, and it's Mighty Stew Gray. Mighty Stew Gray, here comes Hip to be square. Only got a furlong and a half left to run. Mighty Stew Gray might well hang on here. We're coming up to the grandstand and the final furlong. It's Mighty Stew Gray. Leaps first, gets over it well. Poor jump by Hip to be square. And it's Mighty Stew Gray still leads by about three. But on the outside, here comes Orange eyes, deep red eyes, the blue silks of Hurricane Fly on the inside, Rod Laver, are they going to catch Mighty Stuart Gray? They're not, Mighty Stuart Gray takes it from Orange Eyes in second, oh, I'm sorry I laughed a little bit there guys, I think it's calling the Mighty Stuart Gray, which is obviously not necessarily true, <laughs> so Mighty Stuart Gray takes it, well done Paul, you're right, he has a good horse, Orange Eyes, the favourite was second, Deep Red Eyes for, was third, both Molly at Surfer horses, but uh, Mighty Stu Gray, bit tactical there. She probably may have gone off a little bit quicker. So Mighty Stu Gray takes it for Paul Rhodes. Well done. Second was Orange Eyes and Deep Red Eyes was third. Both for Molly at Surfer. Fourth was Rod Laver for Paul Rhodes. And fifth was Hurricane Fly for John Morgan. Okay, let's move on.